Hello everybody. Back again. This time I'm in Zephyr because uh, I built this box using the uh, solar charge controller and I also have the uh, water charge controller unhooked. So the battery kind of ran down in the cabin. I built this up at the cabin before the battery ran before the batteries ran down. But that being said. Well, while editing that video, it turned out to be a pretty long video, and I just figured I'd do a condensed version of it here. Just go over the basics of it, show you how everything's hooked up. If you want to see how, you know, all the details of how everything was hooked up, I'll put a link in the description to the longer video that shows, you know, how everything's wired up. But all right essentially what this is is a like a power box you have all your your inverter you have your batteries um, have two charge controllers one for wind and one for solar the water generator is going to run in through another port that i haven't got in there yet I just kind of ran out of room inside the box. And also, I think I want to order another one of these. I want to wait until I get it hooked up on the wind generator, see how good it works first before ordering another one. But it can take in three phase power, AC, three phase power, or DC, either one. In that case, I would kind of like to try that out for a little while, see how it does to know whether that's what I want to do for my water generator too. So instead of going ahead and hooking up the water generator in here, I'm just going to leave a port that goes directly to the batteries out of the back. And that will be where I'll hook up my water generator at until I get the other charge controller. Anyway, let's show you what all I've got here. Okay, so right here is the unit itself. You can see I've got my little meter on there that tells how much power is in the battery. I have the remote for the inverter right here, so you can turn it on right here. You can see the little power strip, the light come on on the power strip. And you can see the power inverter uses a little bit of power, um, just in standby, I guess. Uh, I haven't let it sit on for a little while, so we may do that. Anyway, here is a the way I'm getting the power out for now, right shortly I'm going to put a actual plug with a weatherproof box on it and all that. But for right now, this is how I'm getting the power out. So let's show you what is going on in here. Oh yeah, in the back, right here is where the power is going to be going in. These two are your positive and negative for the wind generator. These two are the positive and the negative for this solar. I guess you can kind of see that. <laughs> and what those go to, and inside here, you can see, these are the solar connectors. And I drilled a hole for each one that is just the size of the connector itself. And then tighten them up and they are good and solid they won't go nowhere so that that i think uh worked out pretty good that's that's a way that i can hook up or unhook without having to even open the lid uh this is kind of a portable little power station this could go in an rv uh you could put it in your car anything this is a you know this is a good way to have portable power you don't have to have two charge controllers in it this is just me because i've got several different sources of power for the cabin so you know i mean i've got the solar panels and i've got the wind power so i went ahead and added both of those i'm going to have the water power one somewhere i don't know if i can fit it in here i might do like i did here i had to heat that up in order for the lid to close around this inverter but all right so what do we have here what we have there are two batteries down here and I have a piece of paneling here 
which I'm going to seal around it. Uh, I'm just kind of testing it out with these batteries. I may get some new ones, so I don't want to seal it till I get the new batteries. The thing is, with lead acid batteries, you don't want them venting just straight into the RV or into your cabin or van or whatever. So what I've got is I've got vents coming out. Once this is sealed, the gases from the inverter will only, or from the batteries, the gases from the batteries will only come out of these two vents and you can very easily put a piece of PVC pipe down through the floor and your batteries are vented to the outside. The way I've got everything hooked up. Okay, the batteries are down below, of course. The negative comes up and goes onto this side of the shunt. Move that out of the way. And then you have, of course, your meter hooked up on the shunt. This is the incoming charging power going to the negative. Then it comes out of the shunt and goes to the inverter. Now on the positive side, you have the positive coming from the batteries to this side of the breaker, coming out of the breaker, around into the inverter. So your inverter is protected by the breaker. Now this of course is the power for the meter right here. These are the sense wires for the meter. And this is the wire coming from the charge controllers. And they are just basically wired up with the positive and negative coming in to the solar one, positive and negative coming into the wind power. So that is the basics of it right there. Now, things that I still have to do, I am going to make a vent that will either come out here or here. What is, basically, I'm just going to cut this out. I'm going to find me a little thing that I can put on here for a vent to keep the electronics cool because you want to have air flowing over your electronics. And it's going to be a separate vent than these because this, this compartment is completely separate from this once this is all sealed. So I want fresh air to be able to come over this and through it. You can see it's got a fan so it will move air and then it will come out on this side. I'll probably have to put it here. A vent that is. I have to put a vent right there. So this is where I'm going to actually put a cigarette lighter plug or a 12 volt plug so that if you want to just plug in something right there you can that way. It makes it a little bit more versatile. But that is my power box. <laughs> the inverter is actually a pure sine wave, 1000 watt, 2000 watt peak, 1000 watt continuous. So that, that should be good for the cabin anyway. And uh, if you wanted a bigger one, you could always put a bigger one, but you would need a bigger box. You know, you would have to, if you're wanting to do this project, you would have to do some measuring of your batteries and figure out what size box you need for the inverter, for the batteries and everything. I just wanted one self-contained unit that uh, was portable. It's heavy because it's got two lead acid batteries in it. All right, I mean, this should work for my purposes. Now, it is kind of heavy because it has two lead acid batteries in it. So it's, it's pretty heavy. But it is uh, portable and it has multiple uses. You could use this in your house as a backup power if the power was to go off. You could use it in a cabin just as, you know, as long as you vent. Now, now if you got AGM batteries, you wouldn't have to vent them. But as long as you vent lead acid batteries outside, you're fine. Um, and all you have to have is some way to charge it, which I've got, just like I said, I have the solar and the wind and the water. So I have plenty of ways to charge the batteries up. Um, this would work in a van. This would work in an RV. And it would be a portable system. It's kind of like one of those uh, 
like a, a Jackery power station kind of thing. Uh, some people call them solar generators. It's not a generator, it's a power station. <laughs> because it, it doesn't generate anything. You have to have solar panels to make it into a generator, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> I guess that's a little quick overview. If you're interested in seeing how I built this, I'll put a link in the description to the video that details everything and shows how I did everything on it. Um, but anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. Coming pretty soon, since we got all our parts, we're going to be putting up that wind generator and we're going to see how that works. Appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.